two angels came down. And these angels were called Harut and Marut. And they came to the city of Babylon. Firstly, where is Babylon? Where is Babylon? Iraq. Iraq. And how ancient is Babylon? It is said to be the most ancient city. There was no city before the city of Babylon to that level. The first real civilization was Babylon. So we are going back pre-Ibrahim. We're going back to the earliest of times, way before Musa, way before Sulaiman. So Allah is telling us, when did magic begin? This is the story. Allah sent down two angels with the knowledge of how to control or access the jinn. And the angels were sent to the city of Babylon. And the angels were allowed to teach anybody who wanted to study with them the quote-unquote art of magic. But the angels also claim with a big disclaimer. And that disclaimer was, إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٌ فَلَا تَكْفُرْ The angels said to anybody who came to them, we are a test from Allah. So do not commit kufr by studying with us. They learned from them, مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِهِ What they would use to cause division between a man and his wife. So they were learning things so they could use it against someone. Give me a spell that will cause a divorce here, cause a fight there. That's the spell I want to learn. مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِهِ وَمَا هُمْ بِضَارِّينَ بِهِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ And they, they are never and were never ever able to cause any harm to anyone إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Except by the permission of Allah. What did Allah just reconfirm here? Magic, talismans, whatever they learned in and of itself had no value. Except if Allah gave permission. إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مَا يَضُرُّهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ And they learned what would harm them and not benefit them. Now it's interesting, what they were learning was to try to harm someone else. But Allah describes it as something that they would learn to harm themselves. What's the ultimate harm? To lose your iman. That's the ultimate harm. وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ And it produced no benefit for them. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ And they already knew that whoever purchases it, he will have nothing for him at all of any portion. In the Akhirah, he will have nothing of it. They already knew that before they got into it. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقِ وَلَا بِئْسَ مَا شَرَوْ بِهِ أَنفُسَهُمْ What a horrible thing they sold themselves for. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Had they only known. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Had they only known. They studied that which only harms them and there is no benefit. So magic has zero benefit. Unlike alcohol, Allah says khamar has some benefit. Khamar has some benefit. This is in the Quran. But the harm outweighs the benefit. As for sihr, there's no benefit. It's only evil. And the angels taught or told the men, لَمَنِ اشْتَرَاهُ Whoever got this knowledge from them, مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقِ they would have no share of the next world. You can literally purchase this world at the expense of the next. And what an evil price they sold themselves for. If they only understood. Those who studied it became the first magicians. And all magic that is existent today somehow goes back to Babylon. And there are different madhahib of magic as well, by the way. It's not just one madhahib. There are different madhahib and different arts and different ways within magic. They all originate at Babylon. <laughs>
ولقد علمون من اشتراه ما له في الآخرة من خلاق ولبئس ما شروا به أنفسهم لو كانوا يعلمون قدمت لكم هذه التلاوة من فريق جوال الخير